YouTube, what is going on? My name is Argon. Welcome back to some Fortnite action. Ladies and gentlemen, we are looking at the Season 4 Battle Pass, and we are looking at this wonderful man named Carbide. If you can see his description, it says he, the call to action, part of the Carbide set, and in brackets there, it says unlockable styles. Now, what exactly does that mean? If you're wondering, because you haven't seen it before, this is brand new with Season 4. Basically, what they did was they said that now you'll have the ability to rank up your character outfit under certain, you know, for certain outfits, so that you can actually get new loot based on how you're playing in the game this is a really cool concept i've been asking for this for a long time but let me explain to you how exactly this works so if you buy the battle pass carbide's gonna be the first guy you unlock if you roll over to your challenges you will see under battle pass challenges you'll see a challenge set called carbide there are five of them once you hit level 10 of your actual season rank 20 30 40 and 65 you will continuously unlock these different outfit Pieces. Looks like some shoulder pads, some leg covering, some arm covering, a face mask, and then a full upper body setup as well. Once you complete three of those out of the five, so basically once you hit level 30, you'll be able to unlock the blue pickaxe. And uh, it's pretty cool. That's part of the carbide set as well. I would imagine there's maybe a glider or somewhere, something in there. But yeah, that's how you do that, guys. Now, this is different than the battle pass. Keep in mind, you don't get this by ranking up your battle pass. What you do is if you go over to the lobby, you see I'm level five. So that's in the upper left corner. The more I get XP, the more my levels go up. The higher you get towards the end of the battle pass, I'm sorry, towards the end of the season, it gets even harder and harder and harder because it gets to be like 50,000 XP to hit level 100. It's really, really hard. So once, if you also look at in the battle pass, guys, all the way at the end is Mr. Omega. Omega says there can only be one part of the Omega set, him as well. You could see, or it, whatever it is, you never know, it could be a robot. Uh, also has unlockable styles, and this is at level 100. I'm assuming that you would have to get all the way to level 100 in order to unlock all his gear. That's just an assumption. No clue whatsoever how that works, but it would be pretty cool. So if you see this guy, now this is what's really cool about this concept. Now before, you usually just say like, a, if you saw a John Wick or a Dark Knight early on, or if you see this guy right now, you know that that guy probably paid for it most likely because getting to battle pass level 100 at this time in the first several weeks it's really hard it probably takes like six or seven weeks or two months i don't know i haven't done the math to get a legit uh, level 100 battle pass without buying tiers at all uh, but if you see a guy in two months time with a fully decked out Omega then you know that guy's got a lot of XP he's got a lot of wins got a lot of kills under his belt you either want to stay away from him or maybe just turn around and run in the storm and call it a day because he's probably gonna embarrass you especially if it's really early on but that's how that works guys pretty straightforward like I said go into your challenges and then rank up your season XP as follows and then you'll be able to go ahead and get more of this uh, special character loot pretty cool guys Let me know what you think in the comment section down below if you did enjoy this video hit that like button If you haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe if you're not following me on social media Those links are down in the description below and as always guys. My name is Argon and may you never die to a bush peace